Hello, hello. So we'll get started. And thank you for joining the, our session today. It's a workshop on a more regenerative and interactive commons. And um, a, a lot of this will be informed by uh, a group that, uh, that I am part of called Kernel. And um, I guess just, for, just to start, uh, can we have a show of hands for people here who know about Kernel? Cool, yeah, it's, it's good to see a lot of the Kernel fellows here as well. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what Kernel is, Kernel is a Web3 fellowship. Uh, it started out around uh, Ju July 2020, uh, started by Vivek and Andy. And uh, the initial uh, format of Kernel was it was 100 builders in the Web3 space discussing um, discussing what we need to build in Web3. Uh, a lot of Web2, we feel, has been has been largely influenced by the technology and not the, I guess, not the arts, not, not the sciences and the philosophy. So Kernel tries to get a lot of people to discuss what it is we really need to build. And, um, and today, we're, the hope is we, we get together and discuss what does it mean to build a more regenerative and interactive commons. And a lot of how we do it in Kernel is through discussion, through workshops like this one that we hope you guys will be able to um, to take fully part of it's a uh, it's gonna be a format that, that we call ajunto wherein we get, get groups of people to discuss uh, sub subjects that are relevant to crypto but uh, are pretty deep I would say and not focused on a lot of what we're mostly used to talking about in a very very crypto fo focused conference so maybe I can start with uh, what was listed down there in the workshop uh, agenda the concept of commons is not that of a resource a commons comes from a different way of being in the world where it is not production which counts, but bodily use established by customs. So the hope today is we kind of explore those ideas and we'll be using some guide questions that, uh, that will hopefully guide the discussions. And yeah, looking forward to having a fruitful discussion with you all. But before we start, uh, some of the Kernel Fellows are here and uh, we need to be able to, I guess, form a good group among each of the tables. So maybe I can request uh, you guys to form uh, groups of, of three to four for each table. So the hope is, the hope also, maybe, maybe for the next slide, the hope more so than discussing this is also Kernel is really all about uh, making relationships and learning more with friends here in, here in Web3. So let's form groups of three and four. Some of the guides will help facilitate, and um, and if you can try and form groups, I guess with people that yeah, that you don't know yet, because uh, the hope is we we get to get introduced to more people. So, uh, so yeah, so maybe we can take a few minutes to to organize ourselves. And if anyone needs help, um, yeah. Just taking some a few seconds to look around. Cool, all right, looks good. Maybe take a few seconds to just get to know the folks that are in your table. And for those that are just joining, we're we're forming groups of three and four. Uh, so do find a table which seems like there's like there's more space for discussions all right looks good so hope you are getting comfortable with the folks on your table try to introduce yourselves to each other because we're going to be talking about some I guess some pretty deep 
topics in the context of Web3. And again, I want to remind everyone that in these 15 minutes, we hope the hope is we have fun, uh, make a friend. Uh, one of the core principles of Kernel is to, I guess, to be subversive, to subvert the status quo, and have fun. So, so yeah, just and 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 just to go back, it's a playful hour together, and you'll find in Kernel a lot of the discussions are around what do words mean, and uh, and playing around with with words and changing the format of how we look at the words we commonly see in our day-to-day -day lives. All right, so the hope for today is we're going to have um, perhaps two Juntos. A, ju a Junto is, as I mentioned, a group discussion where we try to discuss a topic in Web3 or uh, a topic that is kind of similar, or I guess a topic that is adjacent to Web3. And in our case, the first Junto that we'll be holding is about trust. So in kernel, this is kind of how we introduce um, kernel fellows. Uh, trust is something that we hear about a lot in blockchain. It's about trustless systems. It's about uh, building uh, transactions and building trust around these transactions. But one thing we can kind of try and explore is what does trust mean in the context outside of crypto? So what is trust? What, what would a world without trust be? Would it be richer or poorer? And so this leads to, I guess, our first Junto. And uh, the hope is we get all of you guys to, to think about trust. Um, and in groups of three and four, tell a story not related to crypto about a moment where trust grew in your world. So um, a lot of us spend a lot of time talking about trust in the concept of blockchain transactions. So let's try to flip that a little bit. Um, who do you trust and why? And then tell a story about a moment where trust grew in your world. So some of the Kernel Fellows are part of your group. So they'll be facilitating some of these dis discussions. And so, yeah, so let's get started. <laughs> I love the laughter. All right, thank you everyone. So let's keep the discussions moving. What I hope like that, that this exploration of trust for, for everyone has kind of given you uh, like some other threads to pull around trust. When we talk about trust in Web3, a lot of it, as I mentioned, is informed about the blockchain, about trustless protocols. Um, but if we're gonna be building an interactive and regenerative commons, I think there's going to be more to that than just the, just the technology. It's, only, it's going to be about conversations. It's going to be about the communities that we're building these for. And I want to spend a little bit of time around uh, this game by Nikki Case. Um, if just uh, do a search for the game of trust by Nikki Case. And this is one, I would say, one very, very wonderful internet artifact to kind of get you to understand more about trust. And what happens in that game is you play the game and you, you realize that trust is, it has many facets. Like uh, sometimes uh, the, the story there is that uh, during, the world, during World War I, there is an event where, where a ceasefire happened. And that was mostly because, because people were already in close proximity with each, with each other, even though they were like on dif different sides of the war. And, and that kind of gives you a, a different look into how these trust less or trustful systems are built. Um, so in, with, in Nikki Case's uh, video or game essay, he says that what, what, or she says that what builds trust is re repeat interactions, possible win-wins and low miscommunication. So, uh, so when we think of trust in the context of Web3, is there any space for what we're building to do this as well? Uh, are, there, are there communities that we're building these systems for and kind of making sure that we're making pro-social systems to be able to build better trust around the commons and the communities that we're building. All right, so let's continue on. I think uh, now that we got a hang of how to do these juntos, let's do one more. Um, and the next one is more around customs, around community and commons. I know when we talk about commons, it's a term that has, uh, I guess, a lot of different meanings as well, aside from trust. And in kernel, one thing that we also think of is we feel that Web3 and the technology that is given to us by Ethereum and all these other uh, protocols is 
we're able to build new communities, or rather, old communities in future form. So, uh, a lot of communities have customs, a lot of commons have rituals that we do, and that kind of defines how these uh, commons and how these communities form, and how we design the, the systems that, uh, that we do an intended uh, outcome for. So, the discussion for the next uh, for the next Junto is what are your favorite customs or rituals and what customs might you have noticed here in Bogota for the last few days you've been here or if you're a local tell tell all of us what customs are 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 nice in Bogota so this may be religious secular cultural or otherwise a custom is just something uh, that we do we take for granted it might be something very simple right but something that uh, that all of us do as part of a community and, and yeah please please start the discussion All right. I'm sorry I have to stop the conversations, but we, we need to move on. And I hope you were able to know more about some customs that you don't know about, um, some different perspectives on how to build communities and how communities are built around these customs. And I, I want to take a few seconds to talk about this as well. So I mentioned kernel, um, a lot of the thinking in kernel is not just on the te technological side. We we also look in with at a lot of uh, i guess the arts and the social sciences some of the some of the people we i guess the some of the the good writers and people that we uh, learn from are people like uh, ivan illich um, where he says in tools for conviviality institutions are functional when they promote a delicate balance between what people can do for themselves and what tools at the service of anonymous institutions can do for them. So a lot of these commons, sometimes we feel like we're just building them right now, but a lot of the great sociologists, a lot of the people like um, James Cars, who talks about infinite games, uh, we hear about uh, um, some other things also like uh, ecosystems by E.O. Wilson. So there's so much knowledge that we can take from from what people have been building there's a lot of knowledge in indig indigenous systems as well for example that that we frankly don't take the time to take a look at um, the complementary opposite of scarcity for example uh, is abundance it's not abundance rather it is reciprocity uh, when we and scarcity is, is something that a lot of us really focus around in web3 like virtual scarcity artificial scarcity so think of that term, think of what that means in the context of not just crypto, but in the things that we're building, then we might get a more complete, um, I guess, understanding of the, the commons that we aspire to build. Um, so a commons is a space which is established by custom. We must consider the recipro reciprocity-based custom we might create in our new Web3 context. So we have around 10 to 13 minutes, and I want I guess I want us to spend a little bit of time and try to do this last Junto. We have just a quick amount of time, but maybe we can rush through it. And this is also one of the topics that we discuss very deeply in Kernel. It's, it's about gifts and gifting. Uh, a lot of the indigenous economies I mentioned earlier, a lot of them have gift economies where it's not about scarcity, but about abundance. So maybe it's worth exploring what that term means to all of us. What is a gift? So. So in our groups, discuss what is the best gift you've ever given or one that you've ever received. Um, and yeah, so this is our last Junto and I'll have a few more slides after this, but please discuss, we have around 10 minutes to do so. So, yeah. All right, and sorry for cutting the conversations, but we're almost at time, but uh, I, I hope that you guys have been able to connect with the, the folks in your group and maybe maybe just take a little bit of time also to thank everyone to, who participated in the conversations. And I'll spend a few more slides just to close everything out. But uh, we mentioned earlier about reciprocity and gifting. I think that's something that's not covered at all in a lot of the, uh, a lot of the conversations that you'll probably hear in crypto conferences. A giving and receiving well are features of a healthy human and upstream a healthy ecosystem. So we can kind of think about uh, the, the commons that we're building and kind of look at it from that lens, right? Is gifting a part of uh, the ecosystems that you are building or that you are part of? And what would it mean to kind of give freely? And uh, one, one story I remember from Vitalik was 
the, the reason that he got into Ethereum was he, he wrote something on Bitcoin and someone gifted him uh, Bitcoin. And that was kind of what spurred Ethereum and that's why we're all here. So gifting might be the spark that leads to something really, really wonderful. And, and yeah, and just to recap, we, we talked about trust, about commons, and gifting, giving and receiving well. And um, it was all just a long-winded way, I guess, to, to hope that you guys make friends uh, in the last 50 minutes. Maybe someone to go around Bogota with while you're here. And, um, and yeah, and I guess I just also want to end with a quote that uh, I just recently knew of because of the people talking in Kernel. And this was by, um, by E.O. Wilson. E.O. Wilson just recently passed this December. And um, before then, he was, I guess, one of the giants in social biology. And someone asked him, like, how, in, in just a few sentences, how would you des describe what social biology is? And he says, is selfishness be beats altruism within groups. Altruistic groups beat selfish groups. Everything else is commentary. And he kind of got that from Rabbi Hillel's uh, interpretation when he was asked what the meaning of the Torah was, which was, uh, what is hateful to you, do not do to your neighbor. neighbor. Everything else is commentary. So I guess it's worth thinking of that, uh, the golden rule, right? Um, first, first principles are sometimes things that we forgot, forget in our past moving life. So the hope is this slowdown, this conversation with other people has given you a glimpse into what it would be, what would it look like if we had an inter, more interactive and more regenerative commons. And yeah, and I want to take all of the kernel guides as well. Thank you for helping facilitate. And if you want to know more about kernel, just reach out to me. So thank you, everyone.